bodies and features. There's a hidden hierarchy in 1-2-3D design that becomes apparent when you create complex shapes. 3D designs can be made up of different parts. The main part of your design is called a parent or a body. When you add more shapes to your design, these are called children or features. Here are a couple things to keep in mind as you're working. Number one, if you drag an object directly from the primitives panel onto an existing body, it automatically joins and becomes a feature. Number two, if you drag an object from the primitives panel to the grid first, but leave it selected before cruising it to an existing shape, it automatically becomes a feature. Number three, if you drag an object from the primitives panel to the grid, then unselect it before cruising to an existing shape, they do not automatically join together. Number four, if you drag two objects to the grid and then cruise them together, they do not automatically join together. As you design more in 1, 2, 3D design, you'll get the hang of it. And you can always combine objects into a part after the fact. Let me show you. I have a cube and a cone on the platform. I cruise the cone on top of the cube and then drive it down into the cube. If I group them, they can be selected together. But if I switch into outline mode, it's easy to see that the shapes are still separate. That's called non-manifold geometry. And if you're preparing a design for 3D printing, it's not a good idea. So let's ungroup them. Instead, we want to make a part. First, I select the cube. By choosing it first, that means it's the main body of my design. Then, hold down shift and select the cone. Right-click for the drop-down menu and choose Make Part. Notice how these interior faces are gone. I'm going to turn materials back on. Then, drill down into my design, clicking slowly twice into the cone. Because the cone is a feature, I selected it second, I can change it to a void. Click on the cube instead. It's the main body. I don't have the option to make it a void. There's one more subtle difference to be aware of. When you use the make a part function, you need to be careful of the order in which you select your shapes. There isn't any going back. I can delete a feature, but I can't unmake the part and return to two separate pieces. If you create a part by cruising primitives directly from the panel, you can change your body feature order with a workaround. Here, I added the cone second, so it's a feature. What if I want the cube to be the feature instead? Click into the cone, right-click, and select Make Part. The cone and the cube are now separate. Now we want to make a new part. Click the cone first, it's the main body, then the cube, the feature. Choose Make a Part from the drop-down menu. Now you can use the cube as a void. That's a lot of information but it should help you understand the underpinnings of 1-2-3-D design as you begin to create more complex designs.